How's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting video and in this video I'm going to do an overview of the next tutorial project I'll be going over. So this is going to be a pretty simple application. It's just going to be an authentication based application which is going to use session based authentication using React, Redux and Django and then Bootstrap for the styling. So yeah, it's relatively straightforward. Just the home page. There's a login page, a sign up page, and then there's just a simple user dashboard. And then through the dashboard, you can update your profile and also delete your account. So that's kind of one of the more interesting things that we'll take a look at how to do, except here we're going to see how to do it with session based authentication. So let me go ahead and make an account here. So in this case, I'm using a username and password. So in the last few series I did, I was doing a lot of the email password where you have to make a custom user model. So if you want to know how to do sign up and sign in with email password, take a look at any other series I made so far, and they'll show you how to do that with the custom user model. In this case, I decided to go with the username just to kind of save a little bit of time on this project. Let me make a password here. So I'm going to register for an account and then because we're using Redux, we can see this patch states. So here's a sign up success. So now I can go ahead and sign in. And there we go. So now we are routed to the user dashboard. And then here you can see your current profile with the first name and then the last name, phone and city. And what's cool about this user profile is it's its own separate model. So I made an app in Django, which I called user profile. And there I made a model. And then in there, there's these different fields for that profile model. And that profile model is linked directly to the user. So then this is being done through a one-to-one -one relationship. So basically every profile just has one user it's connected to and every user has one profile that it's connected to. So that's kind of how that works. So then basically when you sign up, you don't have to put in any of these fields. This is just part of your profile, which you can then go ahead and update. So let's go ahead and update this one. So John Doe, let's put some phone number. And then these are just some random fields I put just to have a couple for testing. And then for city, I don't know, Toronto, let's say. So when I update this, it updates immediately. And then we could even check out the Redux state here or the dispatches. So we had our signup success, login success, then we loaded our user successfully and we updated our profile successfully. And we can take a look at the state. So is authenticated true? We have the username of John Doe, their first name, last name, phone, and city. And then if you refresh the page, you are still going to be logged in and you're still going to have all these fields updated. So we could even take a look at that here. Authenticated success, um, load user success, and we have all these fields um, still here. And then I can go ahead and update these again. So let's say John Dallas, uh, let's see, Just some random number and let's do New York, let's say. And there we go, updates immediately. And then I can even refresh. And there we go, still updated to what I set it to. And then you can of course log out. And let's go ahead and make another account here. So let's say Brian. And I'll log in. And there we go. So. This has a completely separate profile that is attached to this account and every account has its own profile. So here I can put Brian done. Let's put some random number. And Toronto, let's say. So there we go. We have this profile with these fields. And again, I can refresh the page and there we go. And I can log out. I sign into John Doe. And he has his own separate profile from 
the account I just made. And you can also delete your account in this app. So I can go ahead, click delete account, and now I'm rerouted to the login page. And here we can also see delete account success. So now if I try to sign in with John Doe, let's go ahead and do that. And then login fail because the account no longer exists. So it actually got deleted. So you kind of have some CRUD functionality in the dashboard, which is pretty cool, I think. Now in this application, I didn't add anything like alerts or password resets, nothing like that. Just very simple session based authentication. And this should be pretty cool because you'll see how to use the CSRF token in a Django and React application. And I don't think I've seen anywhere a tutorial that actually showed session based authentication with Django and React. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how this actually works and how these login and sign up pages, how you can have them CSRF protected. Because one thing with session based authentication is that it is potentially vulnerable to CSRF attacks. And that is why you have things like a CSRF token to protect your API requests. So when you're using something like react, you have dynamically loaded forms in the sign in and sign up. So we're going to see how we retrieve a CSRF token to protect both our login and sign up forms. And then when we log in, how we get a new CSRF token to use in our future requests. So when we want to do things like update our profile or delete our profile. So that should be pretty awesome and should be a very fun project to go ahead and dive into. So if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to absolutely obliterate that like and subscribe button for me. And I will see you in the next video where we start implementing this awesome application.